boot into recur use the volume up button and power button press them simultaneously once the poco logo appear you can remove the finger and power button and continuously press the volume up button you will receive one more haptic feedback then you can leave that finger to and this is the latest twrp recovery check community section for available links and rom download zip file is in description don't again spam in comment section check in community section go to wipe and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded there you go and select the firmware here always select latest 12.5.5.0 global firmware done go to here home section again and select install and now select the rom zip file in this video i am going to show you cr droid and 12 as you can see you can see here this is the latest version but still with february security patch i don't know what happened with custom roms all are flashing with the same february security patch and saturday march 12th latest build available for poco x 8.2 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed the rom zip has successfully flashed go to home again and select here install and go to g apps select flame g apps and version 12 as you can see flash it because g apps is not included in the shared rom it also takes a little bit of time wait until it gets flashed now g apps is also successful flash go to home and select here wipe and select format data and type here oes and press this tick button done go to reboot and select system and if you spam in the comment section like where is the link to the particular firmware and community then i am not going to reply your comment i am really sorry for that because i have shared already in the community section if you are following me from beginning and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button then only you will get all the links time to time so i will be updating every link of the firmware and even the recovery everything will be updated in my community section in the same youtube channel you can check out again if you ask in the comment section i am sorry i can't share the link again check out my community section and regarding rom zip file it will be in the product i mean youtube description will be available and it's booted into seattle let's see in this video what all the bugs features and how is the bgm gameplay in particularly in sanok and even the tdm let's begin this video <laughs> hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampathy watching sampath samfix custom rom reviews and this is the poco x with android version 12 and cr droid version 8.2 you can see here and security patch is till 5th february 2022 and vendor security patch is 1st january 2022 and kernel user is 4.14.271 lineage wise kernel has been used with march 12th build and build date is also march 12th and let's see this cpu throttling test i have been running from last five minutes and maximum you can see here 144 average is 139 and minimum is 100 and cpu is throttled to 89 percent of its maximum performance let's see home settings you get these kind of options you can change the icons from here home skin settings plenty are given app drawer also white booted and let's see widgets are working fine no problem into the home settings app drawer okay show app like on labels in drawer miscellaneous you get these options hidden and production app you can hide the apps in this particular rom that's the launcher feature available and wallpapers and style you get these kind of wallpapers not a plenty that's how it is and dark theme themed icons app grid from 2 into 2 to up to 6 into 10 is available lot more customization available in this rom coming to camera application you get this basic camera just it's don't use that use the gcam port this one arno build gcam in this rom it's working fine as you can see i will go to advanced and select the xml from here select xml arnova stable done it 
might as you can see it might force close once after that it work fine let me show you so working fine as you can see even ultra wide everything will be working fine even in video if I show the options in 4k there is just auto I mean it's recorded up to 4k 30 fps that's fine in this particular ROM coming to geek and to the benchmark results in this ROM say it's 3 lakh 2790 and temperature is, is just 0.4 degree celsius and battery drainage is 3% during this testing and this weird sim to his sd cable why it's given i don't know there is no option to remove it and torch light everything is working fine bluetooth screen recording options you get plenty of options here you can record both device audio and microphone simultaneously and if you want to edit there are plenty of options you can see here there are plenty of options here just drag to use those things coming into app drive you get all these apps here coming to geekbench scores single score was 388 and 1223 and linux 4.14271 lineage as kernel has been used the geekbench scores are not getting good for both x and the if you see like this the screen is a little bit dull and the icon sir is not that much colorful go to settings and select the display and go to colors and select here boosted or keep okay keep it boosted only natural also it shows dull colors now you can see here it's a little bit colorful and appealing to your eyes coming to safety net status go to run it yes you get safety net status passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay and whatsapp my G, whatever app you want to use you can use in this particular ROM that's going to working fine and coming to DRM info here also you get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the wood application in HD resolution into the settings here basic things like apps you can adjust here default apps you can change home app is here right home these are the things you get special app access is also given notifications you get plenty of option notification history conversation bubbles enhance and notifications and some of the settings you can enable or disable from here into the battery the battery usage is also fine enough yesterday i made a video on dubfish and this one and that have similar kind of battery life in this room what happens is you get better battery life and also bgma you will get the option to unlock the fps i'll show you in the later part of this but video only thermal profiles are also included you can change here for a particular app you can change the settings battery saver extreme battery saver is also given battery manager is also given that's how the battery and battery life also i will show you the charging animation here itself as you can see it shows charging slowly 2.2 watts and 4.1 volts and 538 but it will increase as you can see now it's showing rapidly as you can see it's going to increase for some time that's how the charging animation and charging speeds and battery life it's going to be good in this particular room just it's an unofficial build that's the only concerning point but overall it's fine you can definitely try it out as a dilator if you are looking for battery life and charging speeds that's fine in this rom and uh, let's see the dialer you will get direct video call feature available in this rom and there is a call recording feature also but the other person will notify that you are recording the call that's how it is and coming to settings again i left with battery life okay sound settings you get plenty of options here you can enable or disable and the volume panel also looks like this as you can see if you go into more you get like this options vibration and haptics also there are plenty of options ringtone vibration pattern you can select here live caption media you can show player and pin media player and show media recommendations dial pad tones screen locking sound touch sounds and charging sounds are also given here as you can see you can change from here plenty of options are given in terms of customization this is going to be good in my opinion use me sound enhancer default headphone type you can choose even the 
and enable hi-fi this is very good if you use this and use the headphones i already tried it but it really makes a little bit of difference not a huge difference but it will make a difference in my opinion use that that's a really cool feature to have in this cr droid 8.2 based on android 12 for poco x and wallpaper sun style i already shown you security settings you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me add the face unlock fingerprint already added let me add the face unlock and into the face unlock you can see here there is option to skip lock screen redo face scan and delete face model these are given allow face unlock and lock screen if want you can disable some of them and let me show you the face unlock tap to double tap to sleep is available let's yes double tap to wake is also available and you can see the speeds of face unlock it's very very quick and into the fingerprint scanner also it's also quick enough as you can see just tap unlock just tap unlock very quick the basic things are also fine and the bad life is also fine also we see the performance and what all the customization we get let's see here into the share dot settings plenty you can see here in status bar you get plenty of options here status bar icon clock style clock and date network traffic monitor old style signal icon if you want you can enable this and data disabler 4g icon roaming indicator comment signal icons bluetooth battery status volt volt vivo wi-fi override colored icons show notification count battery style you can choose here and even the battery bar options are also present in the rom this all the status bar setting into the quick settings you get clock date battery cycle battery location battery percent battery estimation battery slider position auto brightness icon hide qs and secure lock footer alerts user account icon plenty of options you can read or you can enable or disable from here into the lock screen settings you get media cover art and art filter and battery info small clock tap to sleep fingerprint authentication vibration and error vibration ripple effect power menu you can enable or disable from your navigation navigation bar pixel animation show arrow keys while typing layout invert layout and back long press into the buttons you get power menu customized power menu there is advanced restart button and secure locking you can enable or disable end call long press to touch wake device answer call control playback keyboard cursor control reorientation those are given in the navigation settings into the buttons you get power menu i already shown this and user interface you get ambient display charging animation full screen apps you can select from here if particular app is not playing in full screen you can enable from here screen of animation monet settings are also given here you can choose the custom color from here if you disable that it turns to blue that's how it is and navigation bar style is also given you can choose it out blend of customization available in this cr droid particular rom and icon pack you can change even the font styles are also plenty are installed here signal icon type you can choose vivo wi-fi icon i mean wi-fi icon I can shape also you can change in the user interface notifications noisy notifications you can enable or disable four stop button blink flashlight for incoming call you can customize them black battery light notification light plenty of options are given in this rom sound settings also pulse notifications are given you can adjust them even you can change the color and lava lamp feature is also available in this rom you can customize that also and vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here into the miscellaneous game space is given you can enable this then there is a dynamic mode and you can disable automatic brightness and notification overlay and no ringing answers in calls automatically whenever you get calls you can directly get into that call if you are playing a games using this game space and you can disable swipe gestures and usb debugging that's fine and even you can want you can disable the notification alert in the gaming mode and this is very important if you unlock these two settings i mean if you enable this then you can unlock the higher fps since games like bgm or anything like that and if you enable this unlimited photo storage you get google photos unlimited storage available and swipe to screenshot finger is also working fine in this rom this all the shared red customization and without uh, okay one more thing i left out into system into the gestures into three button navigation select the gesture navigation and select settings pill length you can adjust from here and also back gesture height also you can adjust from here but there is no option to increase the pill height length is okay that's how it is 
and traditional three button navigation so far i shown you that's how it works and without wasting in time let's see the bgmi gameplay enter the graphics settings you can get smooth extreme and 90 fps also let me enable 90 fps and show you the game settings in i mean gameplay in bgmi sanok bootcamp okay let me use this but i don't know how to use this game mode it's plus symbol let me increase the volume and if you enable that in the settings only then only you will get that smooth plus extreme and 90 fps many people watch only this gaming i mean this part of the video and they will comment down below i am not getting extreme option on 90 fps hence you need to watch full video then only you will understand Ninety FPS really making difference, but also it takes battery life of your smartphone. That you need to keep in mind. Again, TDM with same settings. Graphics. Let me show the graphics. Okay, smooth plus ninety FPS. Let's see. here and there little bit lag is there but overall it's fine because this antidote benchmark and uh, something running in the background that's why it is but definitely playable in 90 fps that's how the gameplay it's definitely playable and worthy to have this rom gameplay is fine performance is nice as you can see scrolling between apps everything is fine and into display i forget to show you this these are the options you get in the display settings smooth display if you enable this it will be in between 60 to 120 hertz that's how it is and that's all guys in this video i hope I explained everything. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.